Hello, and welcome to Drug Talk. I'm Matt Hamilton. Today we're discussing serotonin syndrome, its effect on the body, and how it can harm, even kill. I'm joined today with Dr. Jesse Garcia. Welcome, Dr. Garcia. How are you doing, Matt? Good to see you again. Well. Uh, sir, what is your area of specialty? Matt, I am a clinical pharmacist. I specialize in drug interactions and those interactions on the human body. As you may know, I'm Matt Hamilton. I'm a drug error trial attorney. Dr. Garcia, what is serotonin syndrome? Serotonin syndrome is uh, the idea that um, serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter, it's kind of a feel-good transmitter, um, gets concentrated in the brain in very, very high levels, um, excessive levels, that then uh, cause a series of um, uh, effects on the body that could eventually lead to um, death. So serotonin is something that's in your body already. Correct, correct. You naturally have levels of serotonin all through the body. It has uh, numerous effects from um, just normal functions and uh, transmission in the brain to make you feel good. It also has effects uh, in terms of uh, um, st uh, stability of platelets within the body, which is basically uh, what helps you clot. So it has a number of different functions within the body itself. So it helps your body function all the way from your nerves to your blood. Correct. Okay. And then we have drugs that we introduce through to, into the body because your doctor told you to take them and the pharmacy prescribed them to you. Yes? Correct. You have medications that you could have been, uh, you, you know, talk to the doctor, you say, you know, basically, um, you know, you're showing signs of depression or the doctor makes that um, determination that the symptoms that you're presenting with are of a depressive nature. And so they may start you on a class of drugs called SSRIs, okay. which is basically selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. The, the, the idea being that as these neurotransmitters uh, or these chemicals are being pushed across from one uh, cell to the other cell, um, the body prevents that medication from being reabsorbed. So it stays in that space, basically cause, causing that signal to be sent over and over again. So if you're thinking of it, it's almost trapped and it can't get out, and so you constantly have this good feeling. That kind of is, is how you're uh, helped in terms of the depressive nature of it. So um, that's kind of the basis of how they work. Okay. But at some point in time, a medical professional makes a mistake and causes too much serotonin to be in your body. Correct. If you're not dosing it properly, um, if you're exceeding the um, recommended dose for that medication, or if you fail to spot interactions. So um, there are some direct drug interactions where you can't take this medication with this other medication because um, it'll raise the levels. And those uh, you may have heard are called MAOIs. Uh, you should not take those with um, SSRIs or that class. You know, some of those are including like Prozac or Celexa, um, Sertraline, different medications that you can use. That's an interaction that the pharmacy should catch. The pharmacy should catch that okay. because now we're seeing two different drugs that uh, are known drug interactions that should never happen. Okay. okay. That, that just flat out should never happen. Okay. Uh, then we also have uh, potential issues where you might be being treated for, say you're a diabetic and you have some um, nerve damage. So you could be treated for that and uh, use a medication uh, such as uh, duloxetine. Okay. So that medication is used for depression, but it's also used for, can be used for a uh, nerve pain in some cases. And so you'll take uh, that medication for that, and you might be taking another medication, call it, uh, we'll say, uh, sertraline, okay, which is SSRI. So the SSRI medication you're taking in a high dose, and now you begin taking this medication to help with nerve pain. Well, this medication, which is the duloxetine, has some of the same effects as the sertraline, okay? So you're basically getting some action here. Uh, well, basically, the sertraline does its job, and then the other medication also does this job, okay, it's too and much. something else. Yeah, so, so, so basically, as a result, you find yourself with extremely high levels of serotonin that get concentrated in the brain that result in um, a number of different things. You can have issues with um, your heart, where your heart begins to race because now you have this kind of feel-good chemical. So um, 
you could have potential. So these are that. symptoms to look for. These are symptoms to look for. Correct. What what symptoms are there for serotonin? Syndrome? So so in what should the doctor tell you to look? The for? doctor should be letting you know that you need to be mindful of um, kind of dilated pupils. You could have tremors. <coughs> you could have a racing heart. Um, those are typical symptoms that you would see. Basically, almost like an overexcitement of the system. Okay, when the body gets overexcited. And if you can think of that the heart's racing, it could potentially lead into instability within the blood. You know, we talked a little bit about the blood. So you can find yourself um, uh, get having a fever as that fever progresses. If the medication's not uh, stopped, you could see this continuing a snowball, eventually potentially leading into shock. And if the shock's untreated, you could potentially have uh, a case where the patient may, uh, may pass away. I see. So the failure to not only spot the interaction or spot the, um, the dosage leads to the serotonin syndrome. The person hasn't been made aware to look out for it, so they don't see it. They might go into shock, even death. Correct. Okay. All right. Well, Dr. Garcia, it's been a pleasure learning about serotonin syndrome. If you at home want to learn more about it, I'd like to direct you to our website. It's worldwideweblaw kc Uh, In it, you'll be able to find additional materials and research links that will help you understand how serotonin syndrome can really harm or kill people um, if it's a result of an error. I'd also like to direct you to our YouTube channel where we have additional videos that should assist you in your knowledge gathering. I'm Matt Hamilton. I'm with Dr. Jesse Garcia. This has been about serotonin syndrome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Matt.